Hello YouTube, this is the first video in our JavaScript Basics tutorial series. Throughout this series I'm going to be going over many of the basic building blocks required to write JavaScript code. In this series I'll be covering everything from variables to loops and more. Uh, so for those of you who don't know what JavaScript is, let me do a little explaining. <clears throat> JavaScript is used in billions of web pages to add functionality, validate forms, communicate with the server, animate, and much more. Some people use jQuery, which is a JavaScript framework, to make it easier to use JavaScript. Um, we'll be coming out with a jQuery series sometime in the near future, but not too soon, um, to kind of help you get started on that too. Uh, JavaScript is the most popular scripting language on the web, um, and it works in all browsers, including Internet Explorer, Firefox, Chrome, Opera, and Safari. Um, before we continue, you should have a basic knowledge of both HTML and CSS. So if you don't already, you can watch our first website tutorial series or our CSS series, which may or may not be out already, depending on when you're watching this video. Uh, but if they're not out already, they'll be out soon. Um, and for those of you who are new to programming, JavaScript is a great place to start. It allows for the basics of most or it allows you to learn the basics of most programming languages even though there are some things that will change when you switch languages as far as syntax and uh, the way the language <coughs> works when you get into more advanced topics or subjects or functions. Um, a common question we get is what's the difference between Java and JavaScript? Well, it's a pretty simple answer. Java and JavaScript are two totally different languages in both concept and design, so they don't work the same at all, and they're not used for the same thing at all. JavaScript is, Java is a much more powerful, diverse, and complex programming language, while Java is simple and easier to learn and is used for the web rather than um, more hardcore desktop software and um, other uh, hardware mediums. So even though JavaScript isn't as powerful as Java, it can still do many things a web developer or a programmer needs. It can do advanced math at a fairly high speed as well as animation with HTML5's new Canvas technology which we have videos for. Um, and it can enable reactions to events on a web page and many many more things. If you don't understand something, we recommend using W3Schools, which I have a window open right here, um, to kind of get a basic grasp on the concept. It's not a very in-depth website but they do do a good job of basic explaining the basics of languages um, and they also have live code editors which should help you get off your feet up and running faster um, <clears throat> where was I oh okay so we'll be placing our JavaScript code inside HTML script tags for now I'm gonna switch to my text editor to give you an example and then I'll be giving you examples of uh, JavaScript used in real-world environments. So we'll make a sorry, um, head and body tag. After we define our doc type. Again, if you have no idea what I'm doing here you should check out an HTML basics tutorial so that you get started with that as well as CSS. Um, so let's see, we will give it a title. I gotta fix that capital F because that's gonna bug me. Whoa. And then we're gonna make a script tag. Now, before HTML5, sorry, um, you needed an attribute called type, and you had to write text slash JavaScript. But with HTML5, that's no longer necessary, as JavaScript is the default scripting language of the web in HTML5. So HTML5 just assumes you're writing in JavaScript, and then all of your JavaScript code will go here. Um, 
I can give you a basic basic example. We'll just um, make a little pop up. I'm sure you've seen these before. Particular document. This is a pop up. Nice. All right. Um, I'll be going over more code, obviously JavaScript code later in the series, but um, that's all for this tutorial. If you like, I can show you some examples. Um, here's an example of JavaScript getting a date, getting the current date. If I click on it, it updates the date of this button or of this paragraph. Um, here's an example of it being used for a slideshow. There are a series of other slideshows on this page. So you can use this for content sliders, slideshows, whatever. Okay. Um, here is it being used as a calculator. Pretty basic stuff. Um, there's another thing you can do with it. This is Java. This is Google's uh, charts plugin, which is done with SVG scalable vector graphics technology, which is kind of a little bit outdated. But um, the plugin that they use is written in JavaScript. So um, here we have a JavaScript script uh, that allows us to create a chart using Google's API. Um, I'll be linking to all these in the, in the description, so if you want to use any of them or just check them out on your own computer, you can. And here, lastly, is um, Minesweeper, which we will be, uh, I got a lucky start, um, we'll be creating a tutorial for um, in our Let's see, we'll be doing it in our um, Canvas and it's really hard to play and talk at the same time. We'll be doing it in our Canvas and HTML and JavaScript series. Um, that would be really fun. Got it. No, I didn't. I don't know what's going on here. I did get it. Okay. Well, I won. Um, but we'll be creating a Minesweeper game of our own in another series that will be coming out after we do our JavaScript and Canvas game development series. But um, that's about it for this tutorial. Hopefully you're looking forward to uh, the rest of the videos in the series. And thank you for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe.